What's up, Flock Phoenix Feather here, and welcome to the final Farming Zone 17 Phoenix moment. For those of you who are new to the series, this is where we talk about everything that happened last week, everything that happened this week, and so on. So, before we start today's video, I gotta send out a huge, huge, huge congratulations to Mr. Dalton, or as you might know him as Sheriff. Uh, him and now Mrs. Sheriff got married over the weekend. Yes, the posse was supposed to be there, but uh, unfortunately, money came up short. Um, for most of us, Cal is looking for a place. YouTube m dropped off for me. Uh, Tyler's just got a promotion, so he's he can't couldn't take time off. So unfortunately, we couldn't be there. I would love to hang out with those guys. Uh, not so much the road trip part, but I would love to spend time um, with the posse. Uh, but nonetheless, congratulations to the new couple. I wish you guys a long, beautiful life together. Um, and. Uh, I don't know what else to say here. Congratulations, though. Huge congratulations. Um, so that gets us into why there was no <laughs> Saturday Night Patrol. I keep getting asked, will you ever do 5M again? I guess I like five or six times. Like We, we do 5M all the time. Like I don't know. We, we have missed the past three Saturday Night Patrols. Um, because the first time it was, I think we were understaffed like it was it was just me everybody else had something else to do i know poor pitiful me right uh but everybody else had something else to do i think that might have been the second week the first week it was the server was acting goofy no first week it, i was by myself the second week was um the server was acting goofy and dalton wasn't home to fix it this week the server was okay so this <laughs> The server was up, and I'd say within about a 30 minute time frame, as we're getting ready, we're getting the stuff ready to go. Uh, the computer mysteriously restarted. Um, we, we learned that later. Uh, I guess I guess it was an update, or maybe it just sat at idle for too long. I, I don't know. Um, but unfortunately, Dalton wasn't home because he was he was getting married, and you know they were ha they were celebrating afterwards, so he wasn't at home. Uh, to turn it back on and anything we weren't gonna bug him it's uh it's just one of those things so we decided to do some ATS instead yes farm or 5m will be back we just recorded actually we, we we did it a little bit different this week um, for some reason 5m and action which is my recording software wasn't working if I opened up action with 5m already open 5m crashed if I had action open try to open 5m it just wouldn't work so not sure what was going on there uh so we decided we were going to live stream it i'm going to split the live stream up into segments and upload them like i've been doing the red dead redemption 2 stuff so uh we just did do the 5m um recording and we actually did stream it over on twitch so uh there's there's that we we are doing 5m it's just not it, just the past three weeks have been um not 5M friendly for Saturday Night Patrol, but don't worry, it will be back hopefully next week. Um, like I said, we, we did stream some of it this just yesterday, so there you go. <sighs> so let's get into the main chunk of what I'm going to talk about today. This is almost going to be like a let's play, let's talk. By the way, the video in the background, I pre-record it. Uh, it's like a half hour of me uh, plowing it's probably horrible it's not anywhere I know it is horrible because I kept knocking signs over JT I have so much to learn I am just a young Jedi uh, I have uh, a long long road I'm just a young snowplow guy I have a long long road to be a master snowplow guy teach me the ways Obi-Wan JT Bugnobi anyway um, so I pre-recorded because I really wanted. I had I have a talking points that I wanted to get through. And I didn't want to be distracted by what I was doing on screen. So uh, this this huge. This is going to be a big topic, and it's going to take up most of the video. So, but I felt like I needed to address it, and that is pre-release keys for Farms of 19. There has been a huge uproar in the community about pre-release keys and how they should be handled, and and so on and so on and so on. Um, I I personally haven't been paying pay attention to much to uh, paying attention much to pre-release streams or videos for that matter uh, simply because I like to experience the stuff firsthand. Uh, some call me weird, 
but uh, it's just how I am. I'd rather like I don't even play betas that much because I'd rather see the finished project product. Like WoW has a World of Warcraft for those of you who don't know what WoW is. Uh, they do betas, but they, like take all the cutscenes out. So I like to wait until the actual the, it actually goes live, so I can play it, experience the the cutscenes and all that. I'm I'm weird like that. I know, but um. It's just weird. It, it, there's this crazy notion going around that everyone should get a, a pre-release copy of Far Cry 19. And it's a bit of a head scratcher for me because you know there's there's a lot of people. I've never received a pre-release copy of Farm Sim, and I doubt I ever will. I'm not cursing giants because of it for not including me. I mean, I was a bit mad in Farming Sim 17 you know, when I saw smaller YouTubers getting keys, um, but this time around, I'm really not. I, I, I truly don't care. I don't know why, who gets considered and who doesn't. I don't know how that works. Um, but I have, I have the game, game pre-ordered. Again, thanks to Tai Tai. And uh, tonight, when it goes live, I will be, I, I'll be downloading it and I'll be playing with my friends. You know, Farm Sim's always been more enjoyable to, to me, anyway. Uh, when you play as a group, <laughs> when you're in multiplayer, and especially with the guys I, I play with, uh, that is the most enjoyable part of the game for me, and that's what I look forward to the most. So um, I can't wait to just jump in the game with them later tonight and, and have a ball. Uh, we we're, we are we are sort of excited for it. Uh, <laughs> the chaos that's going to erupt, not so much. Um, now with that being said. I, I feel as though I'm not entitled to a key, and I feel that actually no one else is really entitled to a, a, a Farm Sim 19 pre-release key. I, mean, that, I don't... One thing that is lost in this whole chaos is that Giants is a business. Being a business, they have bills to pay. They have employees to pay. They have games to develop. They can't just be like Oprah and be like, Hey, you get a key, you get a key, you get a key, everybody gets a key. Like, they can't do that. <laughs> um, I mean, the purpose for the pre-release key is to build hype by promotion. You know, the, the, they build the hype. There's people getting it or wanting it more. And, you know, they get some stream so okay for take for example um when a streamer is streaming fs19 um let's say to about 300 people there's a good chance that upwards of 50 percent of those people haven't pre-ordered the game now just do some math here break out your calculators now if 10 people of those 150 people that have not ordered the game yet if they watch the pre-release stream like hey I kind of want that game and they buy it effectively you know buy uh if, if you buy uh i'm the word i'm looking for here anyway they sold nine dying a uh, positive they're in positive <laughs> they sold 10 copies they only gave one away so they're in net of plus nine copies so that's nine more copies that that giant sold just by giving out one key um that is that's exactly how pre-release keys work they build the hype in hopes that someone uh, that hasn't pre-ordered it pre-orders it and that's more product that's getting out the door um, so that's that's just how how it works that's how business works everybody's trying to sell more more and more giants is a, a giants is a business are they horrible people for wanting to make money no! How do you think Farm Sim such as Farm Sim Twenty One is gonna gonna get paid? For, is it gonna just magically pay for itself? No, they need money, guys. Um, it, it's a business, and there's a lot of people saying well, it's sad that they put making money over, over, you know, their their customers or something. I hate to tell you, uh, I've worked in retail. I've worked, uh, you know, in customer oriented places it's not about the customer it's about the bottom line and that's making money making profit that's what businesses are about in order to thrive and survive you have to make money um, if, if you want them to continue to develop games you have to pay for that key and they can't just give you free keys over you know just hand it out to half the community 
that's not how it works um now with this being said because the, the main the main uproar i've noticed is from modders does this mean modders can't shouldn't have access to pre-release keys not necessarily that's not what i'm saying at all I mean, some modders do have bigger followings than most YouTubers that are getting keys, uh, and they, with that, that audience, or <laughs> with that following, they speak to a bigger audience. I mean, I, for one, I bought the game originally, Farm Sim 13. I bought that game for mods. I see someone, um, they shared a screenshot of it was like a Peterbilt truck hauling on a a cow trailer and I was like I want to touch that and I went out and bought Farming Sim 13 just for that mod and then I just started playing the game I liked the game I found all the cool mods um, and I fell in love I've been playing ever since Farming Sim 13 this is Farming Sim 19 my fourth installment of the Farm Sim series um, so you know the modding community is a big draw for a lot of people, especially your PC players, not so much your console players, because they don't get access to the really cool stuff like we do. Uh, but they don't put their their consoles through hell like we do. Um, but the problem is, how can modders help Giant sell more copies? The best way, in all honesty, is to create a YouTube channel. Um, not even just YouTube, a Twitch channel, a, a Facebook, you can upload videos now. Create videos. That's the best way to do it. Even if you you don't even have to talk, if you just play some music in the background, or if you do uh, just talk, say some you know what you like about the game, what you dislike about the game. Honest opinions help the game. They fix what's wrong. They champion what's cool and all that. That's the best way, honestly. Uh, nothing beats let's plays and videos reviews at all. My wife has been doing blogging for a very long time now, and she'll tell you right out. Most companies want a video review. They much rather have that video review. Some companies won't even work with you unless you agree to do a video review. Um, that's the because nobody wants to see you know, like hear how cool it is. Everybody wants to see how cool it is. So that's that's the big you know hang up there. You know a lot of people. I've seen a couple of moms talk trash about YouTubers, and you know I understand it. There's there's like YouTubers like there was one YouTuber had two subscribers and got an early access copy. I'm like, how'd that happen? I mean, come on, you know a a, a modder with like two thousand likes on Facebook is gonna have a, a much bigger audience than a two subscriber um, YouTube that or YouTube channel. I mean that's that had to be someone that knew someone at Giants somewhere. I don't know. I don't know how that one works, um, but I think in the future YouTube or YouTube, <laughs> but in the future I think that Giants needs to seriously take a look into these Facebook communities. Um, a lot of them are much bigger than the the YouTube channels you see out there. They speak to a much bigger audience. They they uh, they're more active with with uh, people commenting and talking, sharing pictures and stuff. Uh, I, I really think that'd be more beneficial. Like a guy like custom modding, or you know, serious mods, or heck, even even Chiefs R and R apparatus. I mean, come on, they, these guys are have thousands of people following them. That's a whole heck of a lot bigger of a crowd than two subscribers. So I think really going forward, um, Giants needs to take that into consideration. I know it's not you know, not a video review like they want, but they're still. A pretty big chunk of people that could could go for it. and I mean some of these people blindly follow these modders I seen some some one guy was like we should all get the game for free <laughs> go back about five minutes into the video and see what I have to say about that um, but you know at the end of the day there's no reason to, to, to bash Giants over this I mean I think they're honestly doing a good job uh, they've they, they can't give in to every disgruntled player, like every disgruntled customer, because then everybody would be disgruntled. Like, oh, he complained, I want a key. Oh, he complained, I want a key too. Or I'm quitting this game. You can have it. You can take this game and shove it. Like, you know, they can't give in because again, Giants is a business. Um, I mean, 
they have to make money somewhere. They have to. They can't give you a free key. They can't do this because I mean that John Deere licensing that you wanted so so badly for so many many years. Um, what do you think pays for that? Profits from the game. So you know, think about it, guys. Just think about it before you're you're raging at giants and and giving them an earful. They're doing they're doing a lot, and um, you know it never hurts to ask. Just don't be rude about it. Now that pissed some people off, let's uh, let's make some somebody happy. Today is the last day you have to enter for the chance to win a copy of Farm Sim 19, signed by me, the one and only me. Link in the description, and we will announce it tomorrow night on stream. Now, updated that uh, we've ordered it through Best Buy, and unfortunately, uh, the game won't be here until the 21st. So it's going to be a day later than what I thought I was going to get it. I thought I would get it on release day. Unfortunately, it's not going to come until the 21st. So um, I will have it, as soon as I get it, I will have it signed, and I will try to get it shipped out the same day. Can't make any guarantees, but um, you will get it. And like I said, um, the winner will have a choice if they want me to sign, if, if there's a map on the inside. I don't know if the if, the past two have come with a map. If there's a map on the inside, I can sign the map or I can sign the cover. Whichever one you, you prefer. It's all up to you. Anyway. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. That's the, pretty much my rant for the day, I guess you can call it. Or my rambling. I don't, I don't know. Um, let's get into what's going to happen this week. Um, this week is going to be a busy, busy, busy week. Actually, from here until... The um, let's look up our days. Uh, this week, next week, and the week after—not the week after so much, but the week after, no, the week of the tenth and eleventh. Um, we we have a whole lot to do. Like we have, um, for instance, Tuesday or not Tuesday, Wednesday, no, Thursday is Turkey Day. Friday is Black Friday. Saturday is my youngest one's birthday. Uh, the following Tuesday is my birthday. <laughs> and then, um, I believe it's the f Friday the 7th is the Christmas parade here in town. And then the 10th is the day I'm going to go see Ghost. And the 11th is my youngest one's, uh, her, her Christmas concert. So there's a lot going on in the next few weeks. But, um... I do want it to get everything out, or what I have set to go live this this week. Uh, Monday, of course, is going to be the Phoenix moment. You're watching it now. Taken care of. Um, Tuesday will be a 5M video. I didn't think I was going to get them, but we, um, like I said, uh, we got it streamed. So I'm just going to cut them out of the stream and post them uh, each week going forward. We get four calls out of the way, so there's that. Uh, Wednesday, I have, I'm, I'm going to play around with an idea. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I think, I'm thinking about doing my favorites of uh, 17. Uh, it's going to be a hectic video. Or maybe we can even get a 19 video out. <laughs> I mean, it's there's already mods coming out. You know, they're just edits and stuff. But, I mean, they're coming out. So, um, we might be able to get a cool 19 one right off the bat. And I do want to kind of discuss with you guys in that video uh, how to continue on with the mod spotlights. And what, what you guys would like to see with that series. But that is for Wednesday's video. Thursday is going to be a FS911 video. Uh, Friday, I'm thinking about doing like a uh, my first impressions sort of video of, of FS19. And then the next week doing a review after I've played it for like a week. Um, give you guys my opinions and, and such on that. Um, as far as secondary videos go, um, there's going to be Red Dead Redemption every week. I think that they're all there's enough for all week already uploaded. I'm going to have to get in there and play around and do some more. But um, yeah, <laughs> there's still plenty of Red Dead Redemption. We're only through like two parts of it. There's nine parts in total already streamed. Uh, so there's seven more parts that I have to upload and then there's still like 50% more of the game left I'm, I'm in the fifth chapter. So there's there's six total chapters in the main storyline There's two in the pro or epilogue 
Um, so there, there's still a pretty good chunk of game left. There's going to be plenty of more of Red Dead Redemption 2. For those of you who are enjoying the, the Red Dead Redemption 2 series, I don't know if I'll be able to... We'll get in that in a second. Um, I do have a couple of other videos, and I really want to start up a uh, Thief Simulator Let's Play. Uh, I streamed that in place of Saturday Night Patrol one night, and I really actually do like the game, so I think I might record a couple videos on that, see how it does, see if you guys like it, if you guys want me to continue on with it, it'll be there. Um, I still have all those other games that I keep bumming out and, and not uploading, but hopefully I can get those uploaded and um, pushed out for earlier videos for you guys that, that want more content and that's not really liking the Red Dead Redemption series. We shall see. I'm, 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 I know it's a lofty goal, but it's, a, it's, it's, it's a goal. Um, as far as streams go, tonight we're going to be streaming. Uh, the game should go live about six o'clock, but we're not going to start streaming until eight. Um, so, if you guys want to join in, it's going to be no mods. Uh, I don't know how long we'll go with no mods. So, if you guys want to join in before mods hit, this is your week to do it. Um, we'll be doing, we'll, we're going to be, I don't think we'll have the server yet. We're going to be hosting the stream though. Uh, Tuesday, I've already talked to Nitrado. We're still in the process of getting that together. Uh, they in in assured me that I'll have a server on Tuesday on release day. So here's hoping, um, that on Tuesday night we can move everything into the server and we just go to town. That's, that's hoping. So we will be streaming. Farming Sim 19 on Monday night, Tuesday night, and Friday night. Because Farming Friday will return um, as Farming 19, Farming Friday. As far as Saturday goes, <sighs> take a deep breath in. Get in. I'm trying to get all this information out to you and not make a hugely long video. Hugely long. Extremely long video. Um, as Saturday night goes, we will be doing Saturday Night Patrol. As far as I know, as long as everything goes well. Dalton's leaving Thursday. For his honeymoon, so one can hope that the server holds out until then, for at least until Sunday morning, and then it can restart and do all of its junk. But uh, if it does go down, unfortunately, that we have we have no other alternative. There's no way we can we can host it on anybody else's because we don't have the the equipment, so or knowledge for that matter. But uh, we're hoping. We are hoping. Please, please, baby Jesus, let us be able to play Saturday Night Patrol. Um, as far as Twitch live streaming, I don't know if I will be able to do Red Dead Redemption 2 at all this week. My kids have off the entire week, so if I can do it, it's going to be nighttime. Monday's taken care of, Tuesday's taken care of, Friday and Saturday taken care of, so that leaves Wednesday, Thursday. And, you know, I have to have some time to do some work, so... I don't know if I'll be able to stream any of those nights. We shall see. I'm going to try it because I'm, I'm like, it's like I'm scratching my neck. Like, y'all got any more of that Red Dead Redemption 2? Like, I, I, I'm hooked on that game. It is a great game. If you haven't bought it already, considering buy it, buy it. If you have a kid that, not, not a kid, not a kid, not a kid, not a kid. Uh, it's not horrible. It's not like Grand Theft Auto. It's not, it's not incredibly bad. But if you have someone you know that wants it, definitely pick it up for him for Christmas. But that is going to do it. I think I've covered everything. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see future videos, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!